Hi hello people and welcome to the Antarctic Animals Walk video. Hope you enjoy and see you on the other side. It was a freezing cold but bright sunny day in the Antarctic. As the ice and snow crunched beneath Aaliyah's feet, she thought to herself, this is the best expedition ever. She had always told her daddy that her dream was to see the animals in Antarctica. And now, here they were, on the adventure of a lifetime. After a while, Aaliyah's feet became cold and tired, so she hopped into the sled so her strong daddy could pull her. He glided quickly over the ice. Suddenly, Aaliyah heard a noise. Psst! A cute little penguin tried to get her attention. Can you help me? The penguin whispered. Aaliyah called for her daddy to stop, but unfortunately, he didn't hear her. There is only one thing for it, she thought. I'll have to jump out and I'll catch up with daddy in a minute. Excitedly, she jumped out of the sleigh. The penguin waddled over to her, flapping his arms from side to side. Do you know where the Arctic is? murmured the penguin. That's where I'm from, continued the penguin. Oh my goodness, cried Leo. That's miles away. Like the other side of the world. I don't know how you're going to get back, but maybe my daddy can help. As Leo looked into the distance, she could see a blanket of snow. Her heart skipped a beat and panic set in. Daddy! She called frantically. Don't worry, replied Penguin. We'll find them together. By the way, my name is Percy. Aaliyah sprinted off as fast as she could while the Penguin waddled quickly beside her. Before long, they came across the seal who was doing his morning stretches. He had just woken up. Excuse me, yelled Aaliyah. Have you seen my daddy? No, sorry, replied the seal. I haven't seen any humans. But good luck in your search. I'm sure you'll find him. A little while later, they reached the sea, and in her amazement, Aaliyah spotted an hourglass dolphin. Hey dolphin, she called out. Have you seen my daddy? Actually, I did see a man, replied the dolphin. He went that way. I'll take you as far as I can along the shore. Gracefully, the dolphin nose dives in and out of the ice-cold ocean. Meanwhile, Aaliyah ran as fast as her little legs can carry her. 
as she and Percy waddled beside her. But luckily enough, his friend Sammy the Walrus was doing some fishing on the shoreline. Hey Sammy, said the dolphin, have you seen a human? Yes, replied the walrus. He went in a westerly direction. Shall I take you there? That would be fantastic, Aaliyah gasped, relieved that the dolphin could be of assistance along with his friend Sammy. So Walrus slid quickly along the glistening icy surface while Aaliyah continued to run and Penguin waddled as quickly as he could. As time went on, Aaliyah and the animals grew increasingly tired. Out of the corner of her eye, Aaliyah glimpsed a polar bear. As she was so tired, she thought that maybe she could ride on her back. Together, the animals shouted and waved to get the bear's attention. With her strong arms and legs, Priyanapali, the polar bear, crawled towards them. She agreed to carry Aaliyah to help her find her daddy. After about an hour of walking, in the distance, Percy spotted a very strong looking man. Percy turned to Aaliyah. Is that your daddy? He asked excitedly. Yes it is, cried Aaliyah, relieved that she was not lost in the Antarctic forever. Daddy! All the animals shouted at the top of their voices to get Aaliyah's dad's attention. Finally, he turned around and sprinted to Aaliyah as fast as lightning. With a huge smile on his face, he hugged her, holding her tightly. Where have you been? He looked with a he asked with a look of relief on his face. It's a long story, Aaliyah smiled. But Daddy, the main thing is that we need to help my new friend Percy get back to the Arctic. Can we take him there on an airplane? Aaliyah's daddy wasn't sure how to get Percy back to the Arctic, but all of a sudden, a friendly inchworm poked his head out from the snow. Sorry to interrupt, squeaked Isaac the inchworm. I saw these container ships. They travel far around the world. Maybe your penguin can catch a ride.
great idea, Aaliyah smiled. But where can he catch the container ship? No worries, replied Isaac. I'll get my friend Snow Rabbit to lead the way. It was finally time for Percy to go home. He hugged the other animals and said his farewells. Aaliyah's smile dropped from her face. What's the matter? her daddy asked. Aaliyah explained that all the muscles in her legs were hurting because of all the running she had been doing. Don't worry, said daddy. We'll soon fix that. You just need to do some stretching. Let's do it now. First, let's start with seal stretches. Put your feet together, drop your hips to the ground, and push your shoulders back as you look to the sky overhead. Next, we're going to go into the Lion King pose. With one knee on the ground, remember to clench your bum and stand straight up. Okay, you can switch your legs and do the same thing with the other leg. Making sure that your knee is behind your toes and standing nice and tall. Good work. And from here, you're going to stretch that leg out in front of you or straighten your knee and bring your toes close to you as you can or as close to you as you can. This stretch, we're, both going, to, we're going to do with both legs. So use the next leg. Good. Make sure that knee is as straight as possible. And remember with these stretches, you're only going to do it as far as you feel comfortable. Okay. Now stand up and put your legs into an upside down V. Good. And you're going to lean forward until your elbows are on the ground. And if you can, put your legs forward or stretch your legs out even more. Again, like with all of the other stretches, you're only doing it until you feel minor discomfort you should be able to breathe normally as you're stretching. Then we stand up and you're going to stretch one hand in front of you as if you're telling someone to stop and pull your fingers back with the other hand. Good, get a nice stretch in your forearm. And you do the same thing, you point your fingers downward and you pull your fingers back with the other hand. Now repeat this with the other hand. First thing, stop, and then pulling those fingers back as your hand is pointed up, and pulling your fingers back as your hand is pointed down. Good work. Stretching done, job done, as we shake ourselves out like a jellyfish. Okay, little people, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and remember to press the like button underneath. Take care and see you in the next video.